Warning, the views and opinions expressed in this video are not those of a health professional. Please make sure to consult your physician before beginning a new health regimen. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome biggity, biggity, biggity back, y'all. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Kelsey, and I'm here for you guys every Sunday and Wednesday to talk about my VSG journey. I hope that through these videos you're able to find the answers to questions you've been looking for or the path to choosing surgical weight loss is made that much easier. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. You guys know what today is, right? Right? It's, yep, I hear you, boo. I hear you, fam. Y'all ready? Way in Wednesday. Ba, 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 da. I need a symbol. Um, it's the day when we get together for me to step on the scale and see if anything's changed from the week before. Hope you guys are ready for tonight's video. But before we get into the video, I do want to talk about this week's sponsor for the video, and that is Berry Melt. Um, I'm so excited to be partnering with Berry Melt. If you guys have been following me my entire journey, Berry Melt have been my choice of gastric or bariatric patient vitamins since the beginning. Um, I started off with some really icky vitamins that just made me sick. They didn't sit well with me. And they, I really, really, really thought I wasn't going to be able to take the vitamins and do like I was supposed to do for my post-op care. And then I stumbled upon berry melts. You guys, listen. I'm not going to promote something if I don't use it. And there is documented proof in my videos. I talk about the vitamins that I use, and they are berry melts. Um, so right now, I am using the berry melt multivitamin along with the D3. I got so many here. Hang on. And then I use the berry melt biotin and the B12+. Plus. So just a little bit about these, y'all, they taste fantastic. I haven't stumbled upon a flavor that I didn't like yet. My favorite by far is going to be the D3. It has, I like anything apple, and this is a, a green apple flavor, or a natural apple, ap apple, a natural apple flavor, a natural apple flavor, and it's fantastic. Um, these honestly taste like sweet tarts to me. Um, they make taking your vitamins so, so easy. So, um, Berry Mills was nice enough to send me the Healthy Hair Bundle. And so, in the hair, Healthy Hair Bundle, it's going to come with your multivitamin with iron. It comes with the biotin and also the B12. I think it's so important as a bariatric patient to be able to find a vitamin that meets our vitamin need and it's also palatable and stomachable. Is that a word? Stomachable. It's very, very, very important. And I have not been disappointed with berry melts at all. So if you guys are interested in getting some, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you do. Um, I would not suggest these or promote these if I did not stand behind them. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out Berry Mills and you haven't, go to BerryMills.com. They have so many different options for vitamins. Anything that you're looking for, um, if there's anything that you feel you're lacking or that your blood work has, you know, shown up a little bit light on, go ahead and grab them. And on top of that, Berry Mills has been nice enough to gift me with a promo code for you guys. And my promo code is Kelsey20 for 20% off of any purchase no limit so that's a pretty good deal these are not expensive at all go to berrymelts.com and use Kel the code kelsey20 for 20 percent off of your order so as i promised you guys i'm going to start putting my stats earlier in the video because i don't want to make somebody watch an entire video if all they want to know is how i'm doing on my weight loss so the last time that we got together let's see how much my stats have changed okay all right 
My starting weight was 330 pounds. My goal weight is 170 pounds. The last time we checked in, I was at 266 pounds. This week, I am at drum roll, please. 266 pounds. Your girl didn't lose a pound at all. <laughs> and that's okay. That's the whole purpose of today's video. That's the whole purpose of celebrating non-scale victories. Now, I can't say that in the beginning of my journey, I was very unhappy when I would step on the scale and there's no change. I still get discouraged. And I still kind of have to sit down and talk to myself like, girl, get it together. Because this is a process. And like I tell you guys, and I have to remind myself, this is a marathon not a race and you know i think that you get into this habit of ooh, lost another pound today ooh, lost another pound today Woo! down five pound this week and then when you step into a week where you don't lose anything it's like whoa buddy what's going on um but i think it's so important to celebrate our non-scale victories because those are things those are the things that we really 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 need to hone in on because those are things that were holding us back from doing things we wanted to do in our life before we started losing weight and i think it's important that we wrap our mind around the significance of the changes that our body is making that aren't just having to do with numbers. So I am going to talk about a few of my non-scale victories. Um, I try to, I'm going to try to make this video short and sweet like I say every week, but you guys know how that goes. So I'm going to get as much as I can in and as quick of a time as I can. So the, my number one non-scale victory, I don't feel that I take up as much room as I once did. Um, you know, and people still, and I'm not even going to lie, people still act like this. I'm a big girl. I'm a big girl, you know, I, I, I'm still a big girl, you know, but people, if, if we were walking down the same aisle at a grocery store, people would be like, let me let you buy. They like they had to, you know, part the Red Sea to allow me to walk down the aisle. I ain't that damn big, number one. Let's get this straight. But I don't feel as though I take up as much space as I once did. Um, I think a prime example is we went to a comedy show, um, my husband and my best friend and her husband, and they had these interlocking chairs. The chairs are just kind of stuck together. Now, you could un unhinge them, but due to COVID restrictions, they had everyone sectioned off and you were sitting with your party. And so when you sit down, you're kind of just like on top of one another. In previous, that would have been a problem because I was so heavy. So... Being 60 plus pounds down, I didn't feel as though I was spilling over into everyone else's area and I didn't, you know, feel as bad. So I think that losing the weight in a non-scale victory for me is not feeling as though I take up so much space. That was just a feeling for me. I felt like I was just the biggest thing when you walk in the room and it's me, you know, and that was, you know, just a me thing. Of course, we are our harshest critic. But that's just, that was my, I don't feel as though I'm just boom in your face anymore. I think I can kind of like slide on in and not have to worry about people knocking over tables to get out of my way because they feel like I'm going to knock them over with my girth. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever experienced anything like that. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just be tripping. I don't know. Another non-scale victory for me, I have better moods overall. Um, with my weight, I would be in such depressed and sad and unhappy moods a lot of the time. And a lot of it had to do with things that I couldn't do on a normal basis. Or I was always tired or I didn't have the energy that I wanted or I was I just felt bad. I felt crappy. You know, I was eating bad food. I was lethargic. I, it just wasn't a good thing for me. And my moods overall have proved, have improved. And I see that as a non-scale victory. I'm happier. That means a lot to me. The next non-scale victory I have, everyday tasks have just gotten better. Now, don't get me wrong. I've always been the type of person who's had a lot of energy. I've always moved a lot. I've always done a lot. I've always been a get up and goer, baby. Like, my husband's like, you never sit down. You're right, I don't. And, you know... Doing normal things, cleaning the house, normal everyday chores, doing laundry, mopping and sweeping the floors, that would be so tiring to me. And what I can say now, walking upstairs, 
my stairs in the garage i got four stairs y'all before my surgery i was popping and pop locking and dropping it my knees were because i felt like they were gonna give out under my weight and maybe that's dramatic but that's just how i felt um and also where i work at there's we park in a parking lot and then there's like a three minute walk from the car to my building and on the way there, well, on the way down is fine because it's a little bit of an incline, but on the way up, there's that incline. I'd be <gasps> like, that's how I would be breathing. And now I don't struggle as hard with those things. And y'all, that means the absolute world to me to be able to walk up that hill, have a conversation with someone or be on the phone and not feel like I'm about to have a full blown asthma attack. The next non-scale victory I have is I can fit in a booth now. Like, that's a, that's a big thing for me. Um, a lot of restaurants I would just not want to go to because I couldn't fit in a booth. Um, I, you know, I told you guys about that, you know, experience at Connors where I was really excited to go to Connors and they put us in the back of the back of the back of the back of the corner of the, you know, the dungeon of the restaurant and the booth was yay wide and i'm yay wide and so you know my husband of course he slides right on in and then i get in there and i'm just like <sighs> and i can't breathe and so i it makes me so happy that i can fit in a booth now that i can fit in a booth better now um it just it, it's really 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 empowering to me to be able to sit in the booth with no problems. Um, the next one, my joints don't hurt as much. I don't feel like I'm 33 years old anymore. My knees and my feet and my back and my, my everything don't hurt as bad anymore because it's not having to carry around as much weight. Now, don't get me wrong. I still hurt a little, but not like I was. Um, my body carrying around 330 pounds, I couldn't imagine. Carrying an eight pound bag of sugar, I'd be like, oh Lord. So I couldn't imagine my feet and my legs and you know my, my joints carrying around 330 pounds daily. Getting up out of the bed, my feet would hurt so bad. And that's after sit, sleeping and sitting and doing everything I could to relieve the pressure off of my feet and my ankles, y'all, they would hurt so bad. I never expressed it to anyone because that's just me. I would just work through the pain. I would get up, clean the house, do whatever I got to do, Instacart, hurting and all. But now it has eased up tremendously and I'm so thankful for that. Okay, so this one is like, <laughs> I don't snore anymore. My husband would like complain about my snoring. He said I had a deep, rumbly, loud snore that sounded like I was choking and gasping for air. Now, I was never diagnosed with sleep apnea, but I'm more than certain that I had it, have it, whatever. Um, I never felt rested. I snored incredibly loud. Um, just certain things I knew, I would wake myself up gasping. And so um, I would say a week or so after the surgery, my husband was like, you don't snore. I had to check and make sure that you were actually asleep because you don't snore. Y'all, when I say that, that, it feels so good to me because we could, we actually, it got so bad that we were sleeping in separate beds because he couldn't fall. If I fell asleep before him, he couldn't sleep and would just be just messed up the entire night. Um, so now we can sleep in the bed together and there's no issue. Um, and I, I hated that. It made me sad. <laughs> like, my snoring because of my weight is affecting someone else and that that bothers me you know now i think the most important non-scale victory for me is i am more resilient i'm more understanding i am more patient i am actually able to help myself understand it that it's not about making the perfect decisions all the time it's not about being perfect all the time it's understanding that this is a process and not being upset when things don't go my way because of the surgery i find myself holding myself accountable making better choices being conscientious of the things that i put in my body because i know that this can affect me in the long run i'm learning how to deal with stress and uncertainty and worry 
in better ways than gorging on food and filling myself up with un unhealthy things that hurt my body. I'm also learning to forgive myself and to give myself grace because just like my body is changing, I'm changing too. And I think the hardest thing for me to do is to go easy on myself because I want so much for myself. I want to do so good. And when I don't do as well as I think I should, I beat myself up. But I'm learning to give myself grace and to allow myself to grow. Because if I keep bogging myself down with the negative self-talk, I'll never get anywhere. When I do make a mistake, like eat something I'm not supposed to eat or don't exercise that day because whatever has happened, I make sure that my self-talk is neg is not negative, but it's uplifting and that I remind myself that tomorrow's another day. I have another chance to get it right. And that just because today didn't go the way that I planned does not mean that the day was a failure. Through it all, I have pri prioritized my mental health, my physical health, I prioritize myself over everything and I have never in my life put myself before everyone else and for the first time ever I feel like I am in tune with who I am and I am loving it because this self-care era that I have stepped into it hasn't ended I take good care of myself I do things for myself regardless of what anybody else has going on. Now, I'm not selfish, I still do for others, but I make sure that I take care of myself along the way. My next non-scale victory is my blood work has improved. There was a time when I was flirting with, you know, di being diabetic, my A1C level was high. Um, and since I have done my blood work, there's a couple of things that are still a little elevated, but I they have greatly improved. And that means so much to me. Um, like I told you guys in the beginning, one of my most, one of the highest things on my list is, is bettering my health. I want to be here for many years. I want to live a long, healthy, happy life. And being overweight the way that I am, is not going to allow me to live a long, healthy, happy life. But so far, the surgery has definitely improved so many things. And I'm, I'm just, I'm thankful. Oh, thankful. Last but not least, um, I am able to close my towel. Um, I posted about this on my Instagram page. Um, Y'all, I can close my towel. Like, not just, you know, and there's a little gap or whatever. No, like, I can, it, it laps, or what is it, overlaps. And so there's about this much towel now. Never, and never, not given. It's a beach towel. It's a big towel. But there was a time when that big towel didn't close. So just to know that it closes now, that is, it just makes me want to jump for joy. It makes me happy every time I can put on my towel. And actually, if I need to leave out my room, I can because I don't have to worry about my butt and my crack and my, my vag showing because it's open. Y'all, that means the most to me. Y'all already know who it is. It's editing Kelsey here and um I think I left out something um in regards to this video I think it's important to celebrate our non-scale victories because we place so much emphasis on losing the weight and gotta get the weight off 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 that we forget how important it is that we are able to do things that we've never been able to do we're able to our body is changing in ways that it has never changed before. And I feel like that's a mental thing. To be able to feed yourself positive criticism, positivity, and things that will help build that morale, it keeps you going. Because if you only dwell on the weight that you're losing, you'll never you'll never get to where you're going. And I'm really, really, really thankful for the non-skill victories. And it took a lot of research and reading and watching YouTube videos to understand how important celebrating a non-skill victory is. And I hope that you guys get that from this video. Um, when I'm making my videos, sometimes, you know, I'm reading, of course, what I've written. But I want to make sure that you guys get the point of my videos when I make them. Celebrate the small things, celebrate the milestones, celebrate your accomplishments, no matter how small. It could be being able to bend down and tie your shoe without assistance or without breathing hard or feeling like you're going to die. 
something as small as that, it doesn't matter. If it is an accomplishment to you, if it helps you, if you feel better about yourself because this this tool has allowed you to achieve that, then make sure that you celebrate that and you build yourself up because this is for what? You, baby. Bye, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this little view into my non-scale victories. If you guys are in your post-op phase or not in your post-op phase and you're preparing for your surgery, drop some of your non-scale victories in the comment box down below. I want to know them. I want to know what you guys are thankful for. I want to know what you guys have achieved or that you have you know, received from your tool or even preparing for the tool. The pre-op diet is a fantastic way to get prepared for the surgery and a lot of people gain a lot of things from that pre-op diet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in my clip for my weigh-in this morning. As I said, didn't lose any pounds this week, but we're going to keep it positive. We're going to keep it moving and we're going to keep pushing so that next week when I come back to you guys, we're going to be down a couple pounds, right? Right. And I'm going to put in that clip now. Hey, you guys, and I'm going to step on the scale here. I didn't record this normally, Ugh. but anyways. Stepping on the scale here, and I am at 266.4. No pounds down, baby. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to my video today. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Got to go to the store and get bread. My day is never done. Um, a big shout out once again to the sponsor of this video, Berry Melts. And if you guys are interested in purchasing some Berry Melts, which I highly, highly, highly suggest, Please make sure to go to Berry, 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 BerryMelts.com. That's B-A-R-I, Melts.com. And use code Kelsey20 to receive 20% off of your purchase. I love you guys so, so much. If you're new here and you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Become a member of my family. I would love, love, love to have you here with me i thank you guys so much for being here you could have been anywhere else in this youtube world but you decided to be here with your girl <laughs> all right you guys i love you and i will see you in the next video bye